History provides a window on the past and a doorway to the future. That's exactly what a learning resource on the history of the Benin monarchy seeks to achieve in 600 pages. It traces a long line of obas that established the empire from the era leading up to the medieval times and after. Olawa can witness the launch of the book, The Benin Monarchy, an anthology of Benin history. The history of the Benin monarchy is one that changed the course of global civilization. By the end of the 16th century, a succession of natural rulers had organized one of sub-Saharan Africa's frontline kingdoms into a world power. This gathering is a reminder of how far that history has marched in light of a people's desire for cultural identity. 18 chapters by 18 contributors among them, historians, essayists and anthropologists formed the team that contributed material to enrich the book. What we have tried to do with the Bini Red Book, as it's also called, is basically to present history in a glamorous format so that it's attractive even to the younger people. We have vivid images that tells you that Africa has color. And color and glamour is attractive to the younger generation. It is not just an ordinary book. It's a book that tells the history of Benin in terms of politics, in terms of its economy, in terms of its culture, in terms of civilization, in terms even of the religion of the people. History is said to encompass both an imaginative story of events and a narrative of the past, which in this case is chronicled in 7 kilograms and 600 pages. I don't think we've had this much of a, you know, a comprehensive telling of Benin history from the monarchical point of view, the way this has been done. 18 professors worldwide, mainly from Benin, that which is good, but the fact that they all came together and it was edited in sequence to tell a story that's seamless with beautiful, crisp, you know, glossy pictures. I'm proud to have it. At a time that history is returning to schools to reduce the disconnect between the youth and their roots, the book is designed to serve as a one-stop resource material for filling the gap. The Kingdom managed to keep the history, regardless of the wars, regardless of all the, all the anarchies that have taken place in this country. They maintain their you know, history, which is what we are urging most of the traditional institutions to do. The book chronicles the monarchical transformation from the reign of Oba Oromio through Oba of Voranwe to Oba Ewari II, spanning 2,000 years of one of the oldest and most highly developed states in the coastal hinterland of West Africa, dating perhaps to the 11th century. It is believed that any society that loses its history will definitely be disconnected from its future. Guests here believe that books of this nature, if they are being provided, will enable youth of this generation to get connected to their roots, and that will aid national development. Ola Awaku, TVC News, Lagos. <laughs>